trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Paul Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But there's that subscribe button and the bell down there. So if you haven't clicked those yet, go ahead and do that and you'll be notified of any new episodes coming your way. And if you'd like to leave us a comment on the comment section, you can. And uh, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And uh, you can obviously uh, follow us there and comment the things you see. Send us an inbox. And uh, also, you can email us as well. It's paulmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And uh, if, you, uh, if you're a band that wants to be on the show, you can send us an email there. And we'll show you how to do that. But we love fan mail as well. So if you're just simply a fan, send us a letter and we'll get back to you. And all this is uh, recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So I know you'll stay tuned for that. In just a minute, we're going to do something different. Uh, we don't normally do this, but we have a songwriter on our show today. And uh, he wrote a song for a guy by the name of Justin Michael Williams. And her name is uh, Rosie Davis. She's from Austin, Texas. And it's a great interview, and uh, I know you're uh, waiting to see it. So we're going to get right into it, which starts right now. Okay, here we are with the interview. And uh, this time we have a, a songwriter. She's not an artist. But uh, she has uh, written for several people, I do believe. And uh, one person in particular she's written for is a guy by the name of Justin Michael Williams. And he's got a song uh, called Forever Yellow. And we'll be showing that video uh, in just a few minutes. And uh, I guess it's up for a Grammy, and, uh, which is pretty awesome. But uh, anyway, thank you, Rosie, for coming on the show. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, how long have you been uh, songwriting for artists in that? Um, well, you know, this, this all, um, I'm on a new journey right now. So, you know, I started Yellow Heart Memorial, um, January 4th, 2021, um, after losing my mother to COVID, her name was Mary Castro. Mm -hmm. Um, I lost her May 17th, 2020, very early on in the pandemic. And so, um, I started Yellow Heart Memorial and that was to honor all the lives that we've lost to COVID-19. Um, I actually met Justin, and I worked with him on a project, um, you know, earlier on, and he released a song, um, it's called Can You Believe, and um, he asked if I could get some of the COVID community involved, um, and he wanted them to submit pictures of them holding a portrait of their loved one that they lost to COVID, and so, you know, that's where I first met Justin, and he is such an amazing individual um you know when you meet him you can just feel you know his spirit and, and and he's just a really caring beautiful person like i said um and so fast forward you know we we kept this relationship we would message each other or you know talk on the phone briefly um and i came up with this idea um and i wanted to have a theme song for um, Yellow Heart Memorial, for the COVID community, because, you know, we have been trying to express what we've gone through as a community, and, and we feel like it's just not, the message is not getting out there. Um, so I came to Justin, and I came up with the idea of all of us, you know, of a theme song, and you know, he got with some producers and, and had a meeting and, and said, you know, we came up with a really cool idea. Um, we've kind of done this in the past. Um, he said, why don't we all just come in a room and we just start bouncing ideas off of each other. You know, whatever comes to your mind when you think about your, your loved one dying from COVID, you know, put that in the chat. Let's do that. So, what I did was I brought the community together um, and I pitched the idea and we were all in one room and everyone, you know, we all just started putting words down, um, you know, and 
Justin sang, you know, we we he they put the melody together. I mean, this was all done within a matter of 60 minutes. <laughs> so um, you know, the song is really beautiful and you know, it needed something that was really going to hit hard when you listen to it. And so I came to Justin again and said, you know, why don't we add children to the um, song that that have lost somebody to COVID? You know, um, they also are hurting and they're grieving. And, um, you know, I think a lot of times adults overlook children's feelings. Um but, you know, they are going through it as well. And so we um, brought some of the children that had lost grandparents and parents to COVID, um, put them in the, the studio with Justin on Zoom and recorded, you know, whatever they wanted to say to their loved ones. And we added that to the song um, and it made it that much more powerful. Um, you know, you can't help but listening to the song and just breaking you know breaking down in tears because you know these are children that lost their grandparents and their parents um you know people that they treasured and um and so you know the the song came out very very beautiful um it was submitted to um the grammys um and so justin also flew to new york and performed the the premiere of the song um, was done at the Brooklyn Bridge Walk um, in New York. And so that's where he performed it for the very first time um, after we walked across the bridge for our loved ones. Um, so he sang it live for the COVID community. <laughs> um, you know, I was um, fortunate to, to get to take the stage with him and some of the other uh, survivors were on stage with him. You know, he wanted to get some of those clips for a possible video, um, which that video, he released a lyrical video. Mm -hmm. um, and th that also features our loved ones that have passed away from COVID. Um, you know, unfortunately, we can't add every person to that, um, you know, video or a lot of projects that we do for that matter. There's just we're over a million people just here in the United States and it's impossible to fit all of those people in one project. So, you know, it's just an honor um, to work with him and, and to be able to release this, this anthem um, that is now played at memorials and, um, you know, it's, it's there for the community to share whether you lost somebody or not, you know, it just kind of gives you an idea of what we're feeling um, on a daily basis. You know, um, people um, like myself, um, I did not get to say goodbye to my mom. Um, I did not get to see her on FaceTime. You know, all of the um, celebration of life um, plans and decisions were all stripped away from me and my family. Um, you know, they made us cremate my mom, um, you know, so there's a lot of families just like mine that have gone through this and have no closure. Okay. Well, that, that is a great story. Uh, uh, somebody might well, want to, uh, you know, you know, follow you on, uh, fo uh, you know, yellow heart. Uh, does it have an official web address? Is it on Facebook, other streaming media and, and um, social media? Uh, give us the lowdown on that. Yeah. So it's very simple. Um, I have a private group, Yellow Heart Memorial, on Facebook. Also, I have um, a public Yellow Heart Memorial page. Um, we're also on Instagram, Yellow Heart Memorial. Um, and then you can find the song on uh, YouTube. You just punch in Forever Yellow, Justin Michael Williams. Um, you know, so we're easy to find. Um, you can find my bio and some of the other stuff that we do on our, on our um, page, our website, which is yellowheartmemorial.com. Um, we also have merchandise on there that people, you know, like to grab just, you know, as um, to support, you know, COVID awareness, um, you know, so we do have that website as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a setup where uh, somebody could uh, donate to this memorial if they wanted to or, uh... 
Yes, there is a donate button um, on our website. Okay. Um, well, everybody go out there uh, to that website and all those pages she just told you about and um, uh, support Yellow Heart Memorial. I know that uh, she would love you for that. And I know you would feel good about doing that as well. Um, <laughs> well uh, is, is he the only person you uh, wrote a song for? Have you done other artists as well? Um, yeah, so um, official song that is completely out and on YouTube, yes. Um, I do work with artists right now. Um, I'm working with um, actually two artists. Um, so I do a lot of, you know, promotional and management um, with artists, you know. So um, I'm I'm working with two other artists right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, like I said, just talk with her and, uh, you know, get your donations in if you'd like and uh, really support Yellow Heart. And uh, we're going to get to that song in just a second, uh, Forever Yellow by Justin Michael Williams. It is a great song, by the way. And uh, before we get into that, I just want to thank you for coming on the show and taking your time. And maybe maybe one of these days uh, you can come on and uh, uh, do something else for us or send some artists my way because uh, I would love to interview those artists. And, uh, and then Absolutely. We'll yes. <laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem, and uh, without further ado, here's Forever Yellow, and it starts right now. You'll never know how much I miss you My heart is broken, it's forever yellow I pray to see you when I close my eyes, my heart keeps beating I'm forever yellow I need you here when my world is falling down Come help me breathe I love you You're a part of me I'm a part of you forever a number we're forever yellow we will hear your name in the wind and rain you didn't die in vain you're forever yellow i feel you here and your love is all around love help me
Together.